Hello, I'm Jane Bird, Chair of the Core Area Wastewater Treatment Project Board. Most municipalities in the capital region are currently dumping raw sewage into the Strait of Juan de Fuca. The Federal Department of Fisheries and Oceans has declared that there must be secondary treatment of the region's sewage by the end of 2020. If the sewage treatment is not completed by then, the region faces federal action. The federal government has indicated that it is willing to help fund this project, but it has set a deadline for the September 30th for the region to have a plan. The province has also indicated that it would help fund the project to help offset the burden on lo local property taxpayers. Earlier attempts to finalize a plan have failed. The project board, which I am leading, has been tasked to find the best way forward by recommending a plan for approval this month. Here are the project board goals. Protect the environment and comply with federal law. Minimize the cost to regional taxpayers. Develop an integrated waste management plan that makes sense for the region. Minimize greenhouse gas emissions. And add value to communities and the livability of neighborhoods. Here's how the project board has conducted its work. Since we were appointed last June, we have held meetings and heard from delegations. We've met with municipal staff. We've reviewed all the past technical work and information. We've reviewed the extensive public commentary. We've met with experts and reviewed all of the available options. We've considered the technical issues and the public input in examining those options. And we created a methodology to allow us to apply criteria to those options to establish a short list. Once we had a short list, we continued to evaluate them and in particular do detailed cost estimates. Here are our key recommendations. Two treatment sites. We recommend that liquid waste be treated at McLaughlin Point in Esquimalt and biosolids be treated at Heartland Landfill in Saanich. In addition, we propose that the Rock Bay site in Victoria be used as a construction staging area with use of barging to minimize road traffic in Esquimalt and Victoria. Let me just talk a little bit about the treatment process. First, with respect to wastewater, the revised plant design goes beyond what is required by the federal requirement known as secondary treatment and adds a third layer of treatment called tertiary treatment. Biosolids will be handled at Heartland Landfill in Saanich. They will be digested using an anaerobic digester and stored there for the next few years. During that time, we recommend that the region engage in a consultation process with the public and stakeholders to establish an integrated waste management plan that will consider the use of biosolids and solid waste for the benefit of the region. Our plan costs approximately $100 million less than previous plans. There are a number of factors that contribute to this cost saving, but many of them relate to a revised plan to treat the biosolids at Heartland. For example, our plan does not include drawing the biosolids and preserve the biosolids for future use possibly in combination with solid waste as part of an integrated waste management plan for the overall region. Assuming approvals are in place and the senior government funding is available, our plan anticipates construction beginning in about six months, which would still allow us to be complete by the end of December 2020 to comply with the federal regulations. Regarding McLaughlin Point, we have reviewed the extensive public commentary over the past several years, and in particular, we have listened closely to the concerns of the Esquimalt residents. They value McLaughlin Point as a community amenity and they care deeply about the appearance of the building. We've asked for a revised design and we believe it addresses the existing zoning requirements and the design guidelines. In particular, it includes extensive landscaping, it's set back from the foreshore and features a walkway along the sea. And finally, we've created an amenity package for Esquimalt that reflects some of the things that they've said were important to them as a community. What's next? The project board's report has been submitted to the Capital Regional District Board. It will be placed on their board agenda for their meeting on September 14th. The province and federal government each need to affirm their funding for the revised plan. I invite you to read the report. It is now available on the CRD website. Finally, I would like to thank the members of the project board for their hard work. In particular, I'd like to thank the CRD staff and the staff of the municipalities of the core area we appreciated their generosity in sharing their expertise and their ideas. Thank you very much.